Hello and welcome to another Map Center 2.0 video tutorial brought to you by AgriImages Technologies and powered by Satshot.com. In this video, I will teach you how to create an analysis and save it to your field. This is the first of a two part series, the second of which being the precision egg, the post processing of the analysis. So we are here, I've already zoomed in to the field that I want to work with. So the next thing I need to do is select my arrow selection tool, my field selection tool, and click on the field that I want to work with, field or fields. Once that is highlighted, it will turn red, and you will see it in your drop-down list here. And there she is, there's Ellingson. The next thing that we need to do is hit this little red refresh button. This will grab all the scenes in a particular area here, and it will populate in this list, like so. It looks like we have about 150 or 200 images here, dating all the way back to 1990. So we got about 21 years of imagery in this particular area. So a lot, a lot of scenes to work with. Now the next step is to actually select one of those scenes. Now I will go over the scene selection in detail on its own. I'll talk about resolution, size, the different types of satellites that are out there, um, what they do, the resolution, all of that. I will also go into detail about the uh, discrepancies of color, um, how to tell where clouds and the cloud shadows are, things like that. But for now, uh, blue is an indicator of low or no vegetation, and red is an indicator of high or or a uh, uh, robust vegetation. A lot of lot of a uh, lot of vegetation. Can't really say much better than that. Uh, but don't go based on color by itself. Uh, a deep dark red, you know, eh, you might see that in a field, but it's it might be corn. Um, you might only get a yellow or a yellow orange with canola. You might get a, a lighter red for um, for sugar beets per se. Um, but don't so don't go strictly based on what you see in the colors. It really depends on the crop type as well. So so but we are here. I have chosen this field, uh, June sixteenth, two thousand ten, of the Landsat imagery. The next thing we need to do is select down here our options, our analysis options. We'll pull up that window. And we need to make sure in our scene extraction list that our field that we want to uh, analyze is checked here because we need to first extract a raw. And what extracting raw means is it's going to carve out a small piece of the scene so that you can georeference it and you can also uh, do multi analyses with it. You can do one and then another. It also reinterpolates the information, makes it a little smoother, a little higher resolution, as you can see uh, that it's kind of a little smoother here, a little bit more information. Now we can also go ahead and clear out that original scene. We don't need that. We have what we're going to work with, that raw data. And there she goes. Well, you can see on the sides here, it's actually, um, that scene has gone away, so now we only have that raw image. Now. Uh, this field looks a little bit, the scene actually looks a little bit too far south, so let's go ahead and move it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and stick with two pixels, and I'll just hit this once. It will move up, and you will see that the uh, that blue boundary gets closer to the field. There we go. Okay. The next thing that we need to do is make sure that our raw data, we have that pre-selected for you, but make sure that that is selected at all times. And then we go ahead and choose our parameters for analysis. Under analysis type, we have three types here. We can do NIR, NDVIR, or NDVIG. I'm going to go with the red band, the NDVIR. Uh, it's point of preference. Um, once you start using one, you'll probably stick with it all the time because uh, you're going to be used to those colors. Uh, mode, I'm going to stick with min-max. I'll go into that in detail later. Um, it's uh, about how the um, scene is uh, how the algorithms work with the scene colors that we have seen here. So I'm going to stick with min-max. It's basically a relative uh, colors within your own field. Uh, I'm going to stick with the RGB 35 zone. Yep, just like that. And I think 35 zones is a bit high. We'll go to 20 zones. Well, let's go with 15 zones to start. And once you have your parameters set, go ahead and analyze. Now you can do more than one at a time. You can select, if you have more fields selected, you can extract the raw for all of them. You can select all of the raw and you can analyze it with the exact same parameters all in one shot. But I'm just showing you one for this case. So I, I hope I encourage you all to go out and experiment and have some fun. So 
Well, now that we see a couple things happen, we see another active data set here that is uh, shown up, and uh, we also see our analyzed image on the field here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save this. This is the last step in this uh, process. Uh, you can you can tell that it's not saved yet because Elliott Sync Quarter and Analysis show up in red. Um, and if there is anyone out there who is using this program who is colorblind, um, if you actually go ahead and log out or try to go away, um, we will prompt you letting you know that you actually have unsaved data sets. So, um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and select this data set and hit the save button down here. And a name pre-populates for you, tells you the satellite that you're using, the date of the satellite scene, and the type of analysis that you created with a number of zones. So we'll hit save here. And it will turn green as you can see here. Now Ellenson quarter and analysis are in green. And it is also shown up here in our analysis in our farms, fields, and boundaries tree underneath the analysis folder. Now I've done this once before, but you can tell the difference between the two because the one with the green checkbox means that this one is loaded. And I'm actually going to go ahead. I don't want this old one. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. So you can do that right here. And it prompts you, you're going to permanently delete this chosen data set. Are you sure? Just go ahead and hit yeah if you don't want it anymore. All right. Well, that's analysis in a nutshell. I will continue with this exact field in the second, ha second half of our uh, tutorial uh, dealing with precision ag. I will briefly go over each of the tools. If you have any questions, go to satshot.com under the contact tab and drop us a line. Thank you.